Quran says that the Jews and the Christians they follow the messenger the unlettered prophet who is mentioned in the scriptures the law and the gospel if you read the Old Testament it is mentioned in the book of Deuteronomy chapter number 18 verse number 18 it says I shall raise thee up a prophet Almighty God is speaking in the Old Testament in the book of Deuteronomy chapter number 18 verse number 18 and he says I shall raise thee up a prophet from among thy brethren like unto thee and I shall put my words into his mouth and he shall speak all that I command him this prophecy says that there is a messenger a prophet to come from among the brethren of prophet Moses peace be upon him and he shall be like prophet Moses peace be upon him and Almighty God will put his words into his mouth and that prophet to come will speak all that Almighty God commands him the Jews unfortunately they haven't yet recognized this prophet who has come and they're yet waiting for the prophet to come the Christians on the other hand they say that this prophet mentioned in the book of Deuteronomy refers to Jesus peace be upon him and when we ask them that why does this prophecy refer to Jesus peace be upon him they tell us that the prophecy mentions the prophet to come will be from the brethren of Moses peace be upon him and that prophet will be like Moses peace be upon him and the criteria they give for the fulfillment of this prophecy is they say that Jesus Christ peace be upon him he was a Jew and like prophet Moses peace be upon him he was too a prophet of Almighty God if these two are the only criteria for the fulfillment of the prophecy that the person should be a prophet of God and he should be a Jew then all the prophets mentioned in the Bible mentioned the Old Testament after prophet Moses peace be upon him most of them they fulfill this prophecy for example Solomon Ezekiel Isaiah Daniel John the Baptist Hosea Joel all of these they were prophets of God and all of them were Jews in fact if we analyze the prophecy of the book of Deuteronomy befits no one better than the last and final messenger prophet Muhammad peace be upon him if we analyze prophet Moses and prophet Muhammad peace be upon them both of them they were born naturally they had a mother and father on the other hand prophet Jesus peace be upon him he was born miraculously without any male intervention this is mentioned in the Quran in Surah Al Imran chapter number 3 verse number 45 to 47 as well as in the Bible in the Gospel of Luke chapter number 1 verse number 35 as well as the Gospel of Matthew chapter number 1 verse number 18 the Quran and the Bible both they mention that Jesus Christ peace be upon him he was born miraculously without any male intervention so if we analyze Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him is like Prophet Moses peace be upon him and Prophet Jesus peace be upon him is unlike Prophet Moses peace be upon him further if we analyze Moses and Muhammad peace be upon them both of them they were married and they had children but according to the Bible Prophet Jesus peace be upon him he was not married and neither did he have any children so Prophet Muhammad is like Moses peace be upon them and Prophet Jesus is unlike Moses peace be upon them further if we analyze Moses and Muhammad peace be upon them both of them died naturally they had a natural death on the other hand Jesus Christ peace be upon him he did not have a natural death according to the Quran it's mentioned in the Quran in Surah Nisa chapter number 4 verse number 157 and 158 that Jesus Christ peace be upon him 
he was not killed he was not crucified but he was raised up alive and even if we read the Bible correctly even according to the Bible Jesus Christ peace be upon him he did not die on the cross but yet the Christians they say that he was crucified he died on the cross irrespective whether he died or not the Quran mentions he was raised up alive the Bible according to me doesn't mention he died on the cross but even if we agree with the Christians yet Jesus Christ peace be upon him he did not have a natural death so he's unlike Moses peace be upon him further if you analyze Moses and Muhammad peace be upon them both of them they were accepted by the people as a whole they accepted both these prophets on the other hand Jesus Christ peace be upon him he was not accepted by his people it's mentioned in the gospel of John chapter number one verse number 11 his own did not receive him it's further mentioned in the Bible that they all forsook him and fled he was not accepted by his people as a whole further Moses and Muhammad peace be upon them besides being the king in heaven they were also worldly kings besides being prophets of God they were worldly kings that means they could give the punishment of life and death which was not the case with Jesus peace be upon him it's mentioned in the gospel of John chapter number 18 verse number 36 Jesus Christ peace be upon him says this kingdom is not of mine that means this world is not his kingdom his kingdom is the heavenly kingdom the life after death so if we analyze Jesus peace be upon him is unlike Moses peace be upon him and Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him is like Moses peace be upon him furthermore Moses and Muhammad peace be upon them both of them they bought new laws but Jesus Christ peace be upon him he did not bring any new law it's mentioned in the gospel of Matthew chapter number 5 verse number 17 Jesus Christ peace be upon him says think not that I am come to destroy the law of the prophets I have come not to destroy but to fulfill so if we analyze Jesus peace be upon him is unlike Moses peace be upon him and Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him is like Prophet Jesus peace be upon him like Prophet Moses peace be upon him so this prophecy does not befit anyone better than the last and final messenger the seal of the prophets Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him further the prophecy says I shall raise thee up a prophet from among thy brethren like unto thee we know that Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him he was an Arab and Prophet Moses peace be upon him he was a Jew and we know that the Arabs are the cousins of the Jews so the prophecy says I shall raise thee up a prophet from among thy brethren like unto thee and I shall put my words into his mouth and he shall speak all that I command him and we know that whenever the revelations were given to Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him by Almighty God through Archangel Gabriel he repeated verbatim what was revealed to him it is as though words were put into his mouth and he repeated everything what Almighty God had revealed to him and the next verse of Deuteronomy chapter number 18 verse number 19 says that all those who do not hearken unto my words which he shall speak in my name I will require of them I will take revenge from them so Almighty God says if you do not obey the commandments which this prophet will 